What is up Star Wars fans, this is Darth Watson. In this video, I want to give you guys an update on Ahsoka Season 2 that I just recently received. And Rosario Donson, uh, Rosario Donson says that Ahsoka Season 2 is a big deal. They haven't started filming yet, and I believe Ahsoka Season 2 is still in the writing process by Dave Filoni. But it's going to be more exciting than Ahsoka Season 1. And there's and also Rosario Donson says that Ahsoka season two teased that we're gonna see a lot more of Ahsoka and Sabine Wren, as well as learning about learning more about Shin and Balin's skull, as what we should be diving into within the next season. Thrawn shouldn't have a big part in the next season because I think Dave Filoni is saving Thrawn to be the big bad guy of his Star Wars movie, and I've stated that thousands of times. Ahsoka season one set up Thrawn as return as heir to the return as heir to the Empire, so Thrawn's return as heir to the Empire, and then Ahsoka season two would be where Sabine Wren and Ahsoka have to figure out how to escape. Peridia and return to the known galaxy and uh, with Ahsoka season one setting up Thrawn's return as heir to the Empire and Ahsoka and Sabine Wren are stranded on are stranded on Peridia uh, Sabine Wren and Ahsoka throughout the course of the next season is going to figure out a way to return to the known galaxy to stop Thrawn but in the meantime, we're going to dive into more of Balin and Shin's character, what Balin is looking for. And a lot of people are speculating that it's Avaloth. But we're really going to dive into Balin and Shin's identity and how Balin left the Jedi Order and became a dark Jedi. Now, Balin is not necessarily a Sith, but he is a dark side user. And I cannot wait to see how all of that unfolds. And with Ahsoka Season 1 setting up Thrawn's return as heir to the Empire, plus Dave Filoni saying that Ahsoka Season 2 needs to happen first because Sabine Wren and Ahsoka are still on Peridia. Uh, that, those, that's the reason why, that, that's what leads me more and more to believe that Thrawn is the heir to the Empire in Dave Filoni's Star Wars movie. And Dave Filoni's Star Wars movie would likely be called heir to the empire and it will connect ahsoka season one and season two and dave filoni could be either or a, the, a combined thrawn trilogy with three acts of dave filoni star wars movie or dave filoni star wars movie could be called heir to the empire and it'll be the first film of dave filoni's trilogy that he's trying to retell a new and fresh canon version which has taken up inspiration from Star Wars Legends. Now, Star Wars Legends was no long, was was not canon. Star Wars Legends was never canon, but they're taking a lot of ideas out of Star Wars Legends. Even George Lucas took the idea of Dark Talon to be one of the main villains in his vision of the sequel trilogy. That was taken from Legends, but it's not going to be in the way that Legends has created this character. It'd be in a totally different way where she would serve as the apprentice to Darth Maul. But anyways, that's all I have to say for this video. Do make sure to smash a like, subscribe, comment, and I will catch you all later in another video.